look at him go. For the first time ever. <laughs> Welcome back y'all. So we're gonna be doing some fishing today on the Kentucky River. This is just kind of like a medium sized river here in central Kentucky. And this part of the river that we're on today used to be my go-to spot. We used to come down here every weekend, caught a lot of big fish down here. So we're gonna give it another shot today. It brings back a lot of memories just being down here. I'm pretty excited about it. Some of you guys probably already noticed that we got some new rods on the boat. So we're gonna be trying to break them in today. We'll talk about them a little more. So let's cut some bait up and get started. So we're gonna start out fishing a creek mouth here. It's a uh, pretty shallow water all around in this area. And then right at the mouth of this creek, there's like a 35 foot hole. So we're gonna throw some baits down there and give it 15, 20 minutes. We got some good fresh skipjack. We're gonna cut that up. We're gonna throw some, uh, some fairly small baits today, smaller than I normally throw. And if we catch some eater size fish, whether they're blues or channels, we'll probably take them home and fry them up. I've kind of been in the mood for some fish lately. So we'll throw some regular size chunks like that, and then we'll cut some small stuff too. I got some five odd hooks on a couple of rods. So I've been using Tangling with Catfish Rods for a couple years now, and I really like them. And uh, what I had before, or I still have them, but I had the Extreme Series Rods, which are rated up to 12 ounces. Uh, great rods for big river fishing, heavy current, stuff like that, throwing big weights. Only problem with these rods is, you know, it takes a pretty good sized fish to feel like something on these rods. You know, it takes a 30 pounder just to put a good bend in one. So we're gonna have these for when we go fish the big rivers, but I got tangling with catfish's uh, medium action rods here. These are called the Whisker Whip series. These rods are still plenty capable of catching a big fish but they're gonna make the smaller fish a lot more fun. Uh, haven't really got to break them in yet, but I think I'm really gonna like them. I'll use these rods when we're fishing light current like we are today. When we're dragging baits, these are gonna be some great rods for dragging on the lakes. And I paired them up with uh, Cat Max reels. A lot of people don't care for these reels, but I've had good luck with them. I really like the thumb bar on them. And they hold quite a bit of line for a small reel. And I've got 30 pound Andy Monster line on there, 30 pound mono, that's, that's plenty plenty big enough line to bring in any size fish. When you get hung, you can't hardly break it, so. If you don't care for the blue color in my Extreme Series rods or the red color in the Whisker Whip, they've got all different colors, they've got you know, obviously what I have here, and then they've got green and orange, and I think they've even got a pink rod. So plenty of color options. Uh, they've even got rods for you bank fishermen, the 10 footers. I've even got one of those. That's a good rod too. So if y'all want to check out Tangling with Catfish, I'll put a link in the description. A lot of good rods on the market, but I promise you, if you end up getting some of these, you won't be disappointed with them. If the fish should be biting today in springtime like this, we've got good river conditions, good weather conditions. So hopefully, we'll get what we came for. All right, y'all, so not much action in the first spot, a few bites, but no hookup. So we're gonna head on down the river and check out some other spots. There he is, Landon. He's 
he still coming to oh, you? He's bigger, he's bigger than I thought. Look at that. That's why I bought these rods. It's so much fun. Look at that. <laughs> love it, man. These things are going to be so much fun. Oh, look at that. Got to love it. Bending to the handle. I mean, it's not a giant fish, but it sure was fun on this rod. Take and drag. Look at that rod, boy. <laughs> I love it. I'm just so glad I got to break one of these things in. I knew they were going to be a blast. It's a fired up blue cat, about 20 pounds. Oh, look at him go. I mean, I got, I got plenty of rod here to do what I want to with him, but he sure can't bend it over. Yeah, we caught a we caught a fish about 90 pounds last year. It didn't put that kind of bend in, the, in our other rods, did it? That's what it's, that's that's why I got these rods to have some fun. Oh, he was up he was up really good. If you guys don't ever use a you guys don't ever use a three-way rig in current you're probably missing out that's a one that's one way you know for sure that your bait's going to be off the bottom however long this dropper is for your sinker that's how far your bait's going to be off the bottom so uh i think it's just more of a natural presentation the bait just kind of flutters in the current and some days that really helps out all right, let's see what we got here. Now he's a little better than 20. All right, so he's 21 pounds right at it. Oh, buddy. Real nice fish. First first real fish on the new rods. We caught a, we caught a fish. It was like a pound and a half, two pounds the other day on them, but that's the first real fish on the new rods. And man, he was a blast, I'm telling you. Absolute blast on those rods. And I'll tell you guys something about this spot that we're fishing right here. If you go back on our YouTube channel and go all the way to the bottom to our very first video, uh, it, was a, it was a video of landing reeling in like a 50, 51 pound blue cat, I think it was. It was in this exact spot right here. Me and Landon used to fish this river every weekend this was our go-to spot but the problem is this uh the kentucky river here it's uh we're in bourbon country so there's a lot of bourbon warehouses up and down the river and it seems like every few years lightning will strike one of those warehouses and set it on fire and then there's hundreds of thousands of gallons of bourbon that goes into the river and when they fight the fire with the water it just washes it in the river it's caused some pretty bad fish kills and the last time it happened was right above this pool we're in now. We came down here a couple days later, we've actually got a video of that too, and came down here to see what all, what all kind of fish it killed. And it really took a toll on the flatheads. I mean, there was tons of big flatheads dead everywhere. A few channel casts, but we only seen one blue cat. And that's the majority of the fish we used to catch down here. As long as the commercial fishermen and stuff haven't wiped it out, and I'm sure they're probably still in here. All right, y'all, so we gave that spot another 30 minutes. Just small fish pecking at our bait, so we're gonna get on down the river ways. There's another bend similar to this. We're gonna head down there and check that out. We might check out a couple more places on the way. This whole bank right here is just loaded with fish. Now, those look more like scaled fish to me, but I still like seeing that kind of activity. There's a reason why those fish are here. All right, so now I'm starting to mark some fish out in the middle of the river that look more like catfish. 
Those don't look big, don't look like big fish, but I think those are the right kind. So we're probably gonna set up here. The spot that we're fishing here is a lot like the last spot we were in. It's kind of a river band. We're actually a little bit above the river band, but right here where the, the depth starts to drop off and there's a lot of wood. I mean, just this whole bank right here, all the way down, just solid wood cover on the bottom. We used to catch flatheads right here a lot of the time, but I don't know how many of them are left. I'm sure the, I'm sure that fish kill didn't kill off all of them, but it took a big majority of them out. Landon, there you go, there you go, get him. Oh, I don't think he hooked. I don't think he hooked up. He buried it though. And that, <laughs> how in the world? I bet I said it right there. I meant, I meant, oh, there he is, there he is, get him. Oh. Reel down, reel down, you got him. <laughs> I'm a big fan of these new rods. What do you think? Uh, it's probably not even that big of a fish, is it? I mean, that's what I, I don't know about you guys, but that's what I want to see when I go fishing. I want to see that rod just get buried. There he is. What do you got? That's a channel, isn't it? Nice channel. That's the one right there we're going to take home and fry, ain't it? Yeah. So you know when a when a channel cat, a five pound channel cat can do that to a rod, it's got a soft tip. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Something to make the smaller fish more fun. We got another one going right here, it looks like. So that is definitely a blue cat, 100%. I thought it was a channel cat when we was bringing it in just by the color of it. It's even got little black spots on it like a channel cat would, but it's a 100% of blue cat. It's got the straight anal fin and it's got the hump on his back right there in front of his dorsal fin, just like a blue. And once you start really paying attention to the difference between a blue and a channel, there's really no mistaking in the head of them. Uh, the head of a blue cat is completely different than a channel cat. And this is definitely a blue cat right here. So not sure why he's that color, but it's not gonna matter because we're gonna take him home and fry him up and it'll all look the same after that. Throw him in there and give him a little skipjack flavor. All right y'all, so we've set up in one last spot here. Uh, the main reason I really even set up again is because I wanna see what these rods look like with some light on them at nighttime on camera. The black rods show up pretty good in the daytime, but not at hardly at all at night. So that's another reason why I chose the white this time. So uh, maybe you'll be able to see them better in low light conditions on camera. Glow. Man, that's great. You can see them better right now than you can in the daytime. Yeah, like actually. Heck yes. Yeah, that's, that's it right there. I like it. So that was just a quick afternoon trip out on the river and we were fortunate enough to land a couple nice fish. We got to break in our new rods and honestly, they were exactly what I was hoping they would be. Uh, they've got enough power where I feel like we'll be able to land some big fish, but they have a light enough tip to where the small fish are still fun and that's what I was looking for. And like I mentioned earlier, if you look down below in the description, there'll be a link to Tangle with Catfish where you can check out all their rods. Uh, here's a few of the rods that I have from Tangling with Catfish. I've got the Whisker Whip, of course, that we use. And then I've got the Extreme Series rods right here. I've been using these for a while. These are more of a heavy action rod. Uh, great for big river fishing, heavy current, throwing big weights. I've got eight of these rods and absolutely love them. So if you're somebody that fishes on the big rivers, heavy current, this is probably a good choice for you. And then they also have the Monster Rod which is very similar to the Extreme Series rods, but it's uh, Steve Douglas's Monster Rod Holder Edition rod. As you can tell, this one's dirty. It's, I've used this rod for years. I think I got this one when they first came out, but great rod. They all hold up great. 
all these rods have stainless steel eyes and aluminum reel seats and when you tighten these reel seats they actually stay tight that's the problem with a lot of the aluminum reel seats is they back off over time but these right here stay tight i also have one of the 10 foot two-piece rods these would be great for bank fishing that's what i use it for this is a heavy action but they also have a medium action a lot of people also use these rods on their boat. You can put one on each side of the boat. You know, they're 10 foot away from the boat, so you can cover a lot more water that way. And also keep in mind, if you don't care for the colors I've got here, you can head on over to their website. They got plenty of different colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you don't miss the next one. We put new videos out every chance we get. But I want to thank you guys for watching. God bless you all, and we'll see you next time.